So I had to run in the house and go grab my camera. I've already done this once, but I said it do it again while I was uh, while I was out. I left my child unattended. He's learning how to draw his name. Micro! Hey, how about that? It's going over the same thing again, but this is a image to G-code. Not text to G-code, image to G-code. There it goes, you can see it on the screen. Micro. Uh, I'm going to stop it here shortly, but I drew in the old uh, GIMP here. I drew Micro. whoop de doo big deal. So uh, I saved it as a PNG and opened it into this wonderful EMC program. So we're going to hit the L stop button here in just a second. All right, so how's this happen? Take that home. Once you get it set up, you go to File, Open. Find the uh, location of your picture. I called mine Micro PNG and you click Open. Here you go. This is it. This is it. Pay attention. It's going to happen fast. Units G20. I inverted the image. That means that the dark spots will be the tall spots. Yippee. Uh, you can normalize an image. I chose not to, but hey, all this stuff you can play with. Um, extend image border. I chose to extend it in white because I cropped the image and it would have kind of left it hanging on the edges. would have looked a little stupid. Um, tolerance units, uh, I got it at a thousand. Pixel size. In the picture, the image size, I have 178 by 42 pixels. Well, I wanted it to be 1.4 inches tall, so I took 1.42 and divided by 42 on a calculator, and pixel size is 0 .0333. Threw that in there. Uh, since I'm just drawing, pixel size. Uh, feed rate, excuse me, is 50. Um, the plunge feed rate, 12 units per minute. Uh, spindle speed, who cares? Can't control that right now. I don't have that set up. Scan pattern, I had as rows. It has a, several rows, columns. You can play with that and see what results you get. Scan direction, I've got positive. It has all kinds of cool stuff in there. Depth units, I have 0.15. That's because 0.15 is the point where my marker is going to touch the glass. That would actually be set to whatever you want to mill at. I'd play with that because I don't know what's going to happen when I put wood under this. Step over pixels, I'll have to read the manual to know what that means. I selected three. Hmm, go figure. Maybe I'll try zero next time and see what happens. Tool diameter, 0.01. That might have a little play. I don't, I don't know. Who cares? Uh, we'll figure it out. Safety height. Have that well above the level of your material. Tool type, there's several tool types. I chose flat end because my marker is kind of flat. It could have been ball end. Go for whichever you want to. Uh, experiment a little. That's what this is about, is experimenting, figuring something up. Roughing offset, don't know. I put zero, no roughing. Click OK. It's going to do all this magic for you really quick. You'll see the same image pop up because I've already done this. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. In the meantime, while that's putting another blue line across, there it is, micro. And uh, I got a high intensity LED light up there. Check it out. I usually do my homework with that. There it is, micro. You can zoom in and see where the passes are going to be. Later on, I hope to have a more knowledgeable experience with image to G-code. For now, that's all Tech-Tut has. I'm going to sign off with uh, one more shot of the micro in hopes of uh, YouTube keeping it as the, as the startup for this video. Thanks for tuning in.